I've dealt with mental illness since age 12. Um, um, just on and off since then. It's heartbreaking. I read an old journal excerpt and, and it was something like, you know, oh, today was such a good day because I didn't talk. And it, like, it's just sad to, to see that because I was, I was such a happy, enthusiastic child. When Tara was younger, she was a lot of fun. Uh, she loved to read books. She was very good at school. Um, she had a great sense of humor. I had a big group of, of girlfriends, um, but you know, I didn't, and I didn't realize it until years, like a couple years ago, that it was actually um, a form of bullying. Um, I never knew um, if my friends were gonna like me the next day, if they'd talk to me, if they would um, make fun of me. When I was 12, I um, started dieting, and that diet quickly turned into an eating disorder. By the time I was 16, I was binge drinking, I was depressed, I was self-harming, um, binging and purging, just really unhappy. I felt hopeless a lot. It was a really bleak time. I was suicidal, I was acting on those suicidal urges, and I just did not want to be alive, and um, it, was, it was really difficult for sure. It just scare you, like we didn't want to lose her and uh, we felt uh, that we were close. I think those initial suicidal thoughts I had scared me so much um, that that really made me reach out. I felt like, you know, my family and, and Saint, the, the staff at St. Joe's, um, everybody was hoping for me. And I, as a peer support worker now, um, I try and do that for the people I work with. She's not only, um, I guess, had those experiences, but she's made them very meaningful in how she lives her life. Every day she's working hard, living a meaningful life, and helping and inspiring others to do the same. She always had um, an attitude that, you know, tomorrow would be a better day and that things would improve. I always admire that about her. And then she's carried forth all those kind of wonderful qualities that she had as a patient towards being a colleague. You no, know, I can't say that there's any staff member where I was like, oh, I can't deal with them today. You know, it was always like, as much as miserable as I was, I, I wanted, I wanted to see them because they they were at least smiling. They were they respected me. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> that was the first day of kindergarten. Yeah. It's been a process, but uh, I think. Now she's happy working at St. Joe's and doing a great job. To go from being so hopeless to having so much hope and being able to hope, hold the hope for other people, like it's, a, it's just amazing. And, and I'm not going to lie, my recovery isn't always perfect. You know, there's, there's waves and you just learn to kind of ride them and, and move on.